Cancer, it's Raina. So welcome to your 2018 tarot forecast. As you can see, I've already laid out the cards because I had to start over again. And there are some cards to the side that I will acknowledge when it comes up to that. This is a spread that I created especially for this type of reading. I also created another spread for a love reading for 2018 that I've already put up on Vimeo. When this video goes up, that video will have already gone up. So if you're interested in that, please click on the link below. I will explain the what the meanings are for the different rows. And on the top row, we have the influences coming from the past year. So 2017 influences. Some of these things may be unfinished business, but some may simply be things that happened last year. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually doing this when it's still 2017, but we're going to say in 2017 that impact that have impacted you in a, very big way and you're kind of um, I was gonna say recovering from but it doesn't have to be because actually there's some very good cards up there that you're dealing with coming into the new year one of these is represented by the lovers card which is a card that can speak of the obvious thing of falling in love and this would be at a very intimate level this is not just like a one-night stand even though this is a very sexy looking depiction of this card but also this card can be a choice that you've had to make as well as dealing with the sign gemini maybe you've had to make a, ch a choice with a gemini because i actually come to think of it did get a card that connects with air energy like gemini and uh, this is a card of uh, rejection sometimes this can be a lover's triangle as well as having to cut something to the quick. So you're in this relationship and it's just dragging on, dragging on. Maybe it's really sucking the life out of you and you just have to let it go. And it's not easy for a cancer person to cut something to the quick. So combining these two cards, you may be talking about something along those lines. But it could easily be work-related because... We have here a card that could be uh, construed as a career choice, a two, so we're looking at choice. And this could be about relocation, whether or not you should stay where you are or move somewhere, possibly even far away. The person is holding a globe in their hand. Now, um, I always mention that there's another hand if you notice, because the person in the picture has gloves on their hand. But somebody wrote to me and said, but the other person is holding on to one of those wands. I still haven't found out what that means. I need to look at my original, you know, Rider Waite deck. This is the Morgan Greer deck to see if they have a similar depiction. I find it very intriguing. My thought is that when you make a decision, there are more than just you to think about. So, for instance, family matters, a, a lover or a spouse, that if you take a job offer somewhere else, what becomes of them? What becomes of your relationship? And they may have other ideas for what you should do. So there's all kinds of possibilities with um, the Two of Wands. But uh, I find it interesting that the lovers can also indicate a choice. And uh, chances are that choice is made. We also have, because we also have here in the past position, the Ace of um, Cups, that can be about starting a new relationship that tugs at your heartstrings, that feels very uh, spiritually beautiful. In other words, if I had gotten the Ace of Pentacles, you may have fallen in love with somebody, possibly an Earth sign, but somebody that it felt very practical and like, you guys can join your finances and you're going to be able to buy a house and there's something just very pragmatic about it. And this is about like your soulmate or somebody that you really feel that sense of, 
emotional fulfillment with, or at least a resonance with them emotionally. I think this card can also relate to somebody who has given birth to a child or finds out that they're pregnant even. And if it's a career thing, it's something that you've wanted emotionally, like it's fulfilling emotionally. And this it becomes important when we look at the next row, which are the themes for 2018. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start with the Devil card, which is right below that Ace of Cups, because this is exactly the dilemma of, you know, if something has come into your life that feels very emotionally fulfilling, but you're saying, yeah, but this person... Uh, but this job doesn't offer me as much money as the job I'm in right now. Or, but this person isn't as physically attractive as this person that I just um, have had my heart broken with because they cheated on me. Um, this is the card of temptation, addiction, and um, what's that other word? Uh, I was going to say compulsion, but obsession. And if you think about it, a, an addiction is an obsession, but you can be addicted to more than a substance. You can be addicted to a way of life, which is represented by like the money that you've earned. If you're, let's say you were coming, <clears throat> let's say your decision on the top row was whether or not to get divorced. Uh, you may have been afraid of losing the standard of living that you're used to. <clears throat> And that can keep you in a situation that is really toxic. So it's, people have to obviously weigh the pros and cons, but that devil card really can speak to something that keeps you in, in its grip. And by the way, one thing I didn't mention when I was doing this the first time is that the devil card is connected to Saturn and Saturn rules Capricorn, your opposite sign. So it definitely could be something along those lines. I was noting that there's, um, in your um, love reading on Vimeo, I was not noting that you're going to have a new moon right at the beginning of the year in that house of marriage or committed partnership on July, uh, July, January 16th. So that could be uh, something maybe that's coming up right away related to that, uh, that timing of um, significant events, or there's a Capricorn person that the, the um, devil card could be a Capricorn individual because we also have pentacles, which relate to earth. So, and, and Capricorn is an earth sign. But anyway, let's look at the themes. I, I, like I said, we're talking about any area that's holding you back because of a, an addictive tendency or uh, sometimes it's like a fear-based situation that keeps you playing small, maybe. The Page of Cups is a very creative card. This is also about emotional innocence. And on the heels of last year's Ace of Cups on the top row, this could be about you trusting, being like kind of a, a babe in the woods when it comes to love, not being cynical, maybe about a past situation, which is a very, very good sign. Maybe this uh, person is a Pisces that you have met. Uh, if you are someone who is a, an artist, this could be a sign of you going for it in some way. Maybe you're uh, middle-aged and you're feeling like you've, you've done all you can in a career that is not creative and now you've, you want to get back into that. Again, this could be about uh, raising a child on the heels of that Ace of Cups. And this is especially could be the case because we have the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of give and take, 
especially materially. And, um, you know, cancer is a sign of the mother. So some of you may be first-time mothers. Maybe you had a career and you want to go into, yeah, you want to stay home with your child and raise your child. In terms of like a, a heartbreak situation, maybe there was some kind of a job a situation that was a disappointment you got passed over for a promotion and it really kind of not that it em embittered you but that it made you think about having a child like if you're a woman a cancerian woman in your 30s perhaps and you've really given your all to a career and you kind of see like this brick wall for whatever reason or maybe you're just ready to have a child and you know that you only have a certain amount of time and you may come up with issues in 2018 that if this is something to do with uh, staying at home where your partner and you have to kind of find that perfect balance about who is you know bringing home the fake and bacon I call it because I'm a vegetarian and uh, <laughs> but who is the one who is going out into that big old world and bring in hustling for some money and bringing it home and who's the one that's going to be the domestic god or goddess and you may feel like and you know it doesn't necessarily mean that the cancerian if if you're a woman that you you stay home after you give birth maybe your partner is is better suited for it usually cancer women are very nurturing but there might be some of you out there who are really um, into your career and you might even make more money than your partner and it makes more sense for them to stay at home and and yet there's that balance there's that that thing of like who do you know do you give this person an allowance are you accounting for their every penny because now your incomes are cut in half or what have you so there could be things like that, but the Six of Pentacles can be just getting what you're worth. If you're on the job and you feel like you're being taken advantage of, I mean, the Page of Cups could be about you being a little bit naive in the office, and you may have to ask for what you're worth. This is a card, too, though, of getting specialized training perhaps maybe there's some skill that you need to get better at and so you are really perfecting your craft taking pride in what you do doing it to the best of your ability but there may be something go along those lines that connects to compensation fair compensation Now, these are going to be cards, the, the bottom three here, that are connected to pitfalls or challenges in 2018. One is the Page of Pentacles. This is a card of the student. So um, if you are somebody who, for instance, had a situation where you uh, are in between jobs, maybe the, <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles is you receiving money from someone to help you while you're in between jobs that's always a possibility but um and you may think that the reason what you need to do is to go back and get more training that could be for some people problematic because the universe may want you to start your own business and you may be so into this track of like oh um i have to work for somebody else that's the only legitimate thing that you do not take advantage of a potential opening and uh, you wind up squandering a, a, a great situation of time. And you know, it's interesting, on January 1st, there's going to be a full moon in your sign. So it's almost like cancer people start the year with an ending and, and, you know, whenever there's an ending, there's also a beginning of some sort. So Cancer, step through that 
portal to 2018, after the first, there's a lot of good mojo for anything related to st um, launching projects. So that could be um, important for you. Look at contracts, though. If, some, if you sign something in December during a Mercury retrograde, it may come back to bite you in the new year. So you may have to deal with that as well. Uh, the Page of Pentacles could be a new relationship with an Earth sign. Uh, again, here's that devil. That might be a Capricorn. Watch out for that. It might be a relationship that is based on the wrong thing. A, you know, a physical attraction or material uh, concerns. Also, the Judgment card. If you are somebody who has gotten divorced or is in the process of it, based on some of that stuff on the top row, um, rather, or, or let's forget about that. It doesn't just have to be that. I mean, in that case, that might be that there, there could be complications, okay? But forget about just that. The judgment card is also connected to karma, okay? So if somebody really broke your heart, did something, did you wrong in some way, deceived you, cheated on you, what have you, uh, passed you over for promotion, maybe they were a co-worker who pretended to be your friend, but they were really trying to take what you felt was yours, and maybe they did succeed. Uh, the judgment card is that there is cause and effect and that you know the universe there's universal laws so you don't have to seek revenge you don't have to be vengeful um, you don't have to resent anyone who has done you wrong I was thinking of the Lord's Prayer when they said forgive those who trespass against us okay and that's important because People do things, who do bad things, do them from ignorance. And part of that ignorance sometimes is fear. Believing that there's only so much to go around can cause people to act in a dog-eat-dog -dog manner in the workplace. You know, that, that su it sucks to be them. You know, that's the kind of attitude you can have. If somebody thinks like that, that, that's a shame that they think like that because they're causing a lot of pain, but they're causing themselves a lot of karma. Karma means action. And so when you're, w with every action, there's a reaction. And the reverberation from the universe will be what it is, but everyone gets what they deserve. So you can sit um, high on the horse uh, sit on a high uh, place, in a high place, and not get down in the, um, don't go rolling in the mud. Even if you feel like someone has, has um, done you wrong. And also not living in the past and like, uh, what was I going to say, like kind of... Um, Making that another chapter in your story, but your story is like a sob story, okay? And telling people, because every time that you retell this, you're reactivating it. It becomes like it's happening now, and it really isn't. It's the past. The Queen of Swords. Okay, interesting, because the Queen of Swords to me is a very important um, mentality for a, a cancer person in general because it's combining the heart of the queen with the intellect of the swords or the detachment of the swords but perhaps what has happened is that you've kind of gotten too much into the the detachment because you are so emotional and so it could be that you know going along with this judgment card that if there was somebody who really broke your heart, that rather than 
sit with the pain, you just like, maybe you do refuse to talk about them, but it's almost like, you know, they're dead to you. And that is the other extreme. So you don't want that either. You want a place where you're able to understand what made them do what they did. Not accept it, not, not think that it was, I mean, I, well, you have to accept it. I mean, not, not think that it was okay, but accept the fact that it is what it is. And that there, there's um, a reason for it and that it's going to help you in some way at some point. You may not feel it now, but eventually you'll be glad that it happened. Okay. So, um, <laughs> the reason I'm uh, taking so long to uh, tell you about the next card is because I'm still uh, looking at my diagram here. The advice, and uh, the advice can also be something that is in the, in the future position, I suppose, too. The Page of Wands, good news. The good news is something that stirs your heart. Um, well, actually, it's not just your heart, like um, the Page of Cups would, would be, but or the Ace of Cups, but actually makes you feel a sense of happiness that whatever it is that you're hearing. It could be that you're starting a relationship with somebody who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you may just hear good news that lifts you into this sense of excitement. And the outcome, one of these cards is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of inheritance, so maybe that's the news that you hear. It's family money, um, some kind of maybe a windfall. Maybe it's something to do with an investment, stocks that you had no idea that was going to pay off like this. But this sense of financial security. The number 10 is a, is a number associated with completion. So this may even be something that you have been working towards and now it's come into fruition. And again, I, I actually connect this of all the earth signs to Capricorn because Capricorn rules the 10th house, hence the 10, and it's an earth energy. So maybe it's uh, hearing about a relationship with a Capricorn. Who knows? Maybe this person's a good guy. And it was just that just because it's the devil card doesn't mean the person isn't good. Um, but with this card comes the five of swords. So um, I would say as a cautionary tale or a precaution, if you are having some kind of wonderful news materially, you may not want to uh, put out a post on Facebook and announce it to everybody because there could be somebody who is uh, not who they appear to be. This could even be family members who are jealous, envious, and they are kind of the type who scheme to try to undermine uh, others. If this is a work situation or a business opportunity, the people that there may have been somebody from your past who is still uh, trying to keep you down in some way. And uh, maybe it's even a, a former boss. If you're like, for instance, if you're going into business for yourself or with some, someone else and it's in the same um, field as a former employer and they were the one who is represented by the Three of Swords, who kind of screwed you over, that person may try to interfere. So the, the moral of the story with the Ten of Pentacles may be to be very careful about 
who you share your good, you know, about your good news about your good fortune with. If you feel that there are possibly people out there who are um, ready and willing to try to sabotage you in some way, because that Five of Swords could be sabotage. Now, one thing I just will say with that card is that I personally, uh, you know, am of that belief that you that you don't necessarily want to necess you know share your things, especially when it involves money or your career, because, um, well, in some cases, it could even be a relationship, come to think of it. But I think particularly with money, because there are so many people that are consumed with greed, and when they feel like they're being thwarted with something, they can be very underhanded. And the Five of Swords indicates underhanded behavior. So just um, keep that uh, keep that uh, in mind, but wonderful cards, Cancer, wonderful cards, and I hope that 2018 is a prosperous year for you. Um, take care of yourselves. Bye.